This is an unusual story about a 34 years old writer called James Achon. His love and works in science fictions and horror stories made him critically acclaimed. People praise his works and primarily his imagination skills. One day, out of the blue, a critic from a local newspaper wrote that James Achom is not capable of writing beyond science fiction and horror stories. As a man of prestige and eminence, he took it as a personal affront. So, he started writing his first love story. As usual, it begins with a boy and a girl. James completed most part of the story but somehow stuck with the ending. He thought that everyone wants to know how anything ends. And that's why life after death is the biggest scientific study ever. So he is on the quest to find the most suitable ending of his love story. In his story, Zack, a farm boy from an outskirt, is smitten and captivated by the charm of Thoi, a wealthy city girl. Zack tries to find a way to Thoi heart, even though she doesn't know that Zack even exists. James thought of two different ways to end it. A happily ever after. Or a disaster. He also thought that it's too soon to decide, as our mind changes like the season. James worried that he have to start somewhere, but unfortunately he could not. He tried again and again and again, and he didn't stop, neither did time. His mind was not in the right place, with so many choices he had. He could not search for the perfect answer. For perfect, he was afraid he is going to make the enemy of the good. From the other side of the world, pressure and tension were breaking through. James was so intensely attached in finding the ending of the story that he ceased to care how many days have passed. His focus began to shift. Was it the arrogance or was it the stress? As he was thinking, he laid his eyes on an unopened bottles of vodka and whiskey that his friends gifted him. It is true, he never had any of those while he writes, but this time he decided to give it a try. He thought that he's writing something new and he should try something new. He guessed a glass or two won't do any harm to his work. That glass or two were already starting to make him more insecure instead of making him more creative. It was too late to go back and too soon to finish. He was mentally stuck between his word and his works. James is a Capricorn, a very regretful sign I would say. 
probably that's why he is afraid that the end of his career may come sooner rather than later and he is not ready to face it yet. But is he ready to finish the story? By the time he opened his eyes, he realized that it is going to be the end of his career. He could not believe where his obstinate and self-willed mind has taken him. So he decided to write whatever the first thing comes to his mind and never to give a second look. At this point, he believed that he doesn't have any option other than to compromise. We must not forget that no man is different from animal. Our desire to achieve is not only driven by the necessity, but love, hate, and challenges. And sometimes we undertake pointless things to win without perceiving the consequences. James' rational mind and vigorous body was easily taken over by the overconfidence and sudden act in order to achieve the unnecessary out of his stubbornness. By the time he realized, he is already overshadowed by the foolhardy act to retort a ludicrous statement. It was too late. Our mind works in a very miraculous way. We often let our mind do the things which we fail to achieve with our body. James has mastered to utilize the subconscious part of his brain ever since he started writing. And I forget to mention that he was a child prodigy. His subconscious mind was setting a precedent for his story. So driven by the obsession and embarrassment, the cheerful and innocent Zack was drawn in the pool of Toy's world without deliberately realizing the consequences. Love blinded him and he feared life has no meaning beyond it. After losing his dignity, he thought it was not worth in the end, and it was too late. To his distress, he gave up his life.